everyone. Welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well, we're in for a night tonight, aren't we? So I've got Simon and Karen in the kitchen. Hi Hello. guys. Hi. <laughs> so um, anyhow, let's talk about what we're going to do tonight. So tonight is just a bit of a product night. Let's have a let's show you what's new in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. And let's also use the little rolly that you've all got. So what I'm gonna do is, I've just popped all the products here, but what I, I've gotta crumb coat the cake, which I'm gonna do now, get that in the fridge. And then while that's in the fridge, I'm gonna to talk to you about all the new products that are in. So let's just move everything out of the way, over to here. What else am I doing, Karen? Products in the oh, roller. yes. There's other new products that we've There's got to test. There is, there is. So while you lot all get together, I'll get my nerves together because I feel this could be my big moment of exit. <laughs> I have the sound here ready to mop your feet with brown. Do you? Yes. <laughs> so just bear with me, team. Are you not confident, Carol? Pardon? Are you not you? confident I'm about not very this. good at decorating cakes anyhow. So, so Karen? Yes. As you've got my phone, you'll have to turn the volume down. Playing to me in the urinates. Right, there you go. How's that? Perfect. <laughs> I have the pleasure of wearing ear and aids, uh, but the good thing is they're Bluetooth into my phone. So it means that when anybody phones me, I can have a conversation, which is really weird to these guys because suddenly it looks like I'm talking to nobody or well, talking to myself when I'm actually having a conversation with someone on the phone. So Karen's listening on my phone there to comments, and of course, she's got the volume up. Yeah. Well, or playing there. Is that when you're doing that and I'm walking the office that you're talking to me? I carry the conversation and you look at me and I'll say, what are you doing? Everybody does it, they do. When I'm talking to somebody in the office, as Karen has just said, the amount of people that that come in, you know, and then they'll, they'll, talk, to me, they'll talk to me as though I'm talking to them, but I wasn't, I was actually, I'm like that. And I carry on. Right, okay, should we get the cake out of the way? <laughs> I feel scared. <laughs> So I feel I don't I don't feel I don't feel very comfortable, but as you all know, I am not a cake maker. And here's one you prepared earlier. Here's one I prepared earlier from Sweet Success. So I'm just going to cut this cake, jam it, put some buttercream in the middle. Then we're going to crumb coat it. We're going to put it in the fridge, and then while that's in the fridge, we'll get another coat on, another coat on, and we'll work through it, and we'll finish off with this as the grand finale. Yeah, do we like that idea? Absolutely. We've got over 170 watching you now, Carol. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> this is you the big. This is the big one, isn't it? You've been waiting all day for okay. this one. This is the quick one, isn't it? <laughs> God, I'm scared. <laughs> right, okay. So let me cut my cake in half a moment. Let's get that out of the way. Pop that there. Let me just get a knife. Karen's shouting out comments, by the way. Diana's always shouting hello to you at the moment. We've got oh, 194 then. people shouting hello to you, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> No you know, pressure. The 194 people, you know when I go under later, can you start sending me flowers when you don't see me again? <laughs> <laughs> but I feel very shaky. Right, okay. So all we're going to do is just put the cake on, get the jam on. Going to do a rough butter, we're just going to do a rough crumb coat first. So, show on. Am I in the right position for the camera, Simon? Um, close enough. Yeah, no, no, I just want to make, don't want you to miss anything with this little rolly thing, do we? Oh, no. Or maybe we should. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, just I've got a bit <laughs> Maybe that's where I'm going wrong, maybe we should. Just scare you a bit more, Carol. You've got over 200 now. Wow. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> As you see, I'm feeling very relaxed. Word has got out. <laughs> the jungle drums has gone. Quit <laughs> tuning. <laughs> it's the teacup moment. <laughs> Can I just tell you as well? I've emailed us at uh, Cake okay, Genius and I've had no response. That's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm that nervous, I've not even put my buttercream in a bag. So, <laughs> look at this. I just go straight on with a knife. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do the next layer with a bag, I promise. <laughs> I'm forgetting myself, Karen, I'm forgetting myself. I'm, that, I'm shaking that much. Uh. <laughs> 
Fever cake Gina is the washing now. Start frigging answering questions, will you? Yeah. So. Lynn says you're amongst friends, Carl. Don't be afraid. Remember the cup and saucer. <laughs> That's the problem, Lynn. Is this going to be far worse than the cup and saucer? Uh, this cup is and gonna saucer be... and meringue blobs. Mar this is going to it's going to be cup and saucer, meringue blobs, and red velvet cake all into one. <laughs> Sam, can you just pass me that board there, please? So keep liking and sharing the tonight's live, please. It's, I think it's a twenty-five pound voucher, isn't it, Carol? It is. Tonight? It is. Yeah. And we've got to do a prize from last week, wasn't it? Last, last Monday. From last Monday, yes. Yeah. Okay. So let me just put that on there a minute. Let me get a bag of. Let me get. I'm even going for the tall cake. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> I must need my head examining. Nikki's threatening you there, Simon. Don't you lose the internet tonight. I know. Like, you know like it's me that controls it. <laughs> do you know what John said? He said, do not be doing this without having a go first. I said, well, I've already told him, John. He said, I'm telling you now, don't. So, uh, anyhow, thankfully, John is at work, so he shouldn't be watching, really. He might be listening in his ears. In his, you know, in his ears, well, in his ears yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where else is he going to listen? <laughs> I'm not sure where else he's going to listen. <laughs> Get in the water. Right, I'm just adding a drop of uh, warm water to this buttercream just to soften it down a little bit. Hi, Laura. Your Laura's watching. Which Laura? Your Laura. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely going to start trembling. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her she hasn't got the grandkids watching. <laughs> Has the word got out with you lot, cranky? <laughs> Me and Sam have just sent loads of messages out though. <laughs> yes, so just yes, saying. put the buttercream onto the sponge, Carol, not on top of the jam. What? Doesn't matter either way, does it? Well, you, you, it did seem to matter. Jam first, cream after, that's with the scones. That's with the scones, but if you're yeah. doing with the sponge, put it one on one half and then go. Well, does it matter if it, anyhow? It all fits together, it yeah. all goes down the same way. Listen, tell us mind our own nosy business, otherwise they can get over here and do this demo. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're careful, Simon, you've been on there doing the demo. Yeah, exactly. Especially <laughs> when I start floating and going under in a bit. <laughs> Karen, pick us up a pair of scissors, we have. Yeah, of course. I'm not going to fling them, actually. I'm just going to place yeah. them near you. Because that's all I need. Stab them with the scissors. <laughs> so when it all starts going wrong, will you be adding water to the little little roll? Later? When I when this all starts going wrong, this is going to look like a fantastic blob cake. <laughs> I'm going to create those meringue blobs again. It's all going to be part of the drama. And it's going to be rustic. And it's going to be rustic. <laughs> Typical McFarlane style. <laughs> oh, we've we've made an error and not turned the lava lamp on. Well, that one looks empty. Yeah. Well, I need these lava lamps for a bit of calm. For and that distraction. Happens. Yeah. Vicky says they're going to love tonight, whichever way it goes. They're all with you, okay. Carol. I think some people might need to send me more flowers. <laughs> so have, have people had their little, little rollies yeah. yet? Have people yeah, had yeah. them? Yeah, yeah. So who's been trying them? No, well, they're all waiting for tonight. Oh, are they? Nobody's had a... Nobody's I wouldn't still mind. I'm packets. not even a cake decorator. What can I say about it? Apparently it works best with Swiss meringue buttercream. So we'll see. We'll do that another time. But at the moment we're doing it this way. So I have no guidance because on opening the packets, there is no instructions on the packets of what to do. No, that's why they're waiting for you. Yeah. So it says get flawless finish on buttercream ganache and royal icing. Ganache, all oh, right, oh, okay then. And royal icing. It's easy to frost cakes or cookies. Roll the fr frosting finisher in a bit of powdered sugar or cornstarch for oh. job we read the instructions karen absolutely so right okay you get the powdered sugar i certainly will then roll out any imperfections oh i didn't know that who'd read that Frankie. right you only get one handle in each packet you don't get you don't get a handle per roller you just no. get one handle per packet no, no. I'll explain that. I'll have two packet. packets each, though. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 we've got one handle in the packet. Yeah. 
That's one handle in each packet. Yeah. Right. But two handles all together. But two handles all together. Yeah. Okay. Let me just get another cake out because we're going to go for the tall cake. Frankie, I'm glad that I'm, I'm glad they actually read the instructions there. That might help. So am I. I can put the clock down now for you. <laughs> My, I feel slightly more confident. Right, okay. Let's just get this out of the way. So I'm using a, a pre-made cake from um, Sweet Success. So just to reply to Jane, who said it looks like a paint roller. Yes, it does. It does look like a paint roller. We but have to agree with you. Don't use a paint roller <laughs> because they're toxic. Yeah, so, and this is food safe. Yeah, this so is that's food the safe. difference. Yeah, because foam, the, the sponge foam, contains a lot of toxins when it's made, and this one's made food safe. So whatever you do, don't go to B and Q and buy a paint roller thinking it'll do the same. Well done, Simon. You because you'll again. you'll all you'll all <laughs> you'll, <laughs> you'll all again. make yourself ill. Yeah, I didn't know that. I've done with my buttercream. Right, okay, which camera are we on here? We're on here, we're just, uh, so basically anybody who's just joining us, we're gonna have a play with little Rolly tonight. And um, so all I'm doing here is making a pig's ear of everything, but we're gonna go with it anyhow. I've never used little Rolly at all, so I'm not sure whether I'm doing anything right or wrong, but this is the way it's going to be. It's going to be a tall cake because we're oh, going to go for the big one. Right. Really put it to the... Oh, really make it difficult for yourself. To... Oh, absolutely. Listen, if we're going to do it, Simon, we're going to do it. If oh, I'm going absolutely. To go, if I'm going to go, go. under, if I'm going to go <laughs> under tonight, I'm going to go under proper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the size of this is going to take the whole room out. <laughs> I'm going to put a dowel in this as well. I hope it's not like when the kids play Napoli and the whole board goes over. I reckon it could be, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, right. So just be patient. So I'm just building this cake up and then we're going to put our first crumb on. And then I'm going to show you some fantastic new products that we've got in while we put this in the fridge for 20 minutes. Hold on. Everybody patient. Is that part of the process then, Carol? That you've got to, you've got to get the. Get well, it this on bit I then. know actually. Yeah. Believe it or not, this bit I do know. Oh wait, I've never. Uh... Oh, that's a lovely tall cake. It's a very tall cake, and we haven't even got the top layer on yet. There we go. No, I, I can feel my hot flush coming on. <laughs> well done, Karen. Yes, if you're going to have one, have a big one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I like big ones in here. Right, okay. Let me go and wash my hands and blow my nose and wash my hands again. What, one second. What is John's technique on Carol's meltdowns? Uh, John's technique on Carol's meltdowns is he totally ignores me. <laughs> <laughs> totally ignores everything I say. He just goes, calm down. <laughs> Right, where's the um, catching roll? There it is. Just one second. Oh. Right, just let me get a dial, Simon. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. She says she's had a very stressful weekend. Ten minutes watching you guys, and I'm laughing non stop. Okay. That's what we like. I reckon you're going to be doing more than laughing in a bit when this all goes together. Oh, we've all got the tenor ladies on. Yeah, I hope <laughs> Simon's in the kitchen. He's learning a lot about Tenor Lady since he's joined us, haven't you, Simon? I don't know, that's something I want to... We sell to... these, by the way, the poly dowels. I'm just only going to put three in. Right. Could you not just use gardening poles from B&Q? No, no, don't work that, Simon. Hi, Peggy. In the wood. <laughs> nice to see you again, Peggy. Peggy was this morning as well. Oh, was Yeah, pretty good. America. Hey, what do you think about Karen's solo this morning? Hey, no comments from me, nothing. She did very well, didn't she? Have you, have you watched it? Did no. you enjoy it? No, but I read the comments. Oh. Are you going to say something there, Simon? Oh, 
<laughs> well, like, what have you been doing all day that you couldn't bother watching? What have you been doing all day? Are you kidding me? You haven't freaking stopped. Karen went home because Karen was in at half past eight and I was in here with you then, wasn't yes, Karen? Yeah. She went home and um, she went home to come back for the live and she could just come back in and said, Carol, please tell me you've moved away from that computer. I was meant to have had a shower and wash my hair. I've had a shower this morning, but I just didn't wash my hair. I thought, oh, I'll wash it later. And then I haven't. You just look, you look like you're in the same position as when I'd left you at half past four. And I was like, oh no. Yeah. Just take a bit more out. Now, I don't know if this is how you lot crumb coat cake, but this is how I do. This is a Carol McFarland way. Yeah, there's always a Carol McFarland way. <laughs> right, okay, so let's push that down. Right, okay, so at least we know the cake is going to be fine, don't we? And it's not going to topple over. Somebody just said it looks so big, I thought it was going to topple. Well, I thought if we're going to do the little roller, you know what, we're best off going for it properly. And even though my John said to me, John said, Carol, you best test this first. And at one, we never got time to test anything. And I actually took the day off yesterday, believe it or not. I started work last night at half past six. And uh, I was in there till half ten. And then I was back up this morning. And then I've been there all since. Right, so I need um, a bowl to put some of the buttercream in. Now, when you put your buttercream on your cake, it needs to be soft. Yeah. So I always add a bit of water to it. So, you know, a bit like my blobs, like that. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it. I should have this in nice, delicate container, shouldn't I? But like a little jug? Yeah, like yeah. a little jug, classy. But <laughs> so we're just going to soften it down, just with some warm boiled water, that's all. Just make it a bit softer. Because if your buttercream is too firm and you try and put it on, all it's going to do is drag the cake. And you don't want to be dragging the cake. We'll have enough trouble trying to get this cake smooth, never mind dragging the cake. So, just going to add a little bit more. Michelle, Michelle says, no water, Carol. I know. <laughs> it's all right, no nifty nozzles are in sight tonight. <laughs> Do you know those lovely blobs that I created? They were so pretty on that cake. I couldn't even create them if you asked me to. And I'm devastated because they were really nice. Uh, I'm back on Cake Flicks, by the way, on the 16th of May. So, uh having a chat with them tomorrow. Doing well, Cake Flicks, isn't it? It's brilliant. I was watching a few um, a few of the sessions on Saturday. Can't watch them all because it's all day, but there's some great artists on there, aren't there? It's amazing what they can do. It always makes me wonder why you come over here and watch me. I'm sure it's so you can watch me go under at things like this. It's because you're a natural and they love it that when things go wrong, you show them how to put it right. I'm not sure I'll show you how to put it right. <laughs> 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 right, let me get out um, a piping bag, another one. Oh, here now. All right, all right, all right. Well, Carol, you're just shy of 400 now. Are you winding me? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, well. Word has got out, hasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> and John hasn't even sent an email, I don't think, has he? Anyhow, let's talk about something positive. So the cupcake bouquet class is going very well. You're all loving that, aren't you? So while I'm while I'm doing this, let's talk to you about the cupcake bouquet class. So the cupcake bouquet class I do here in the sugar and crumbs kitchen, but obviously with COVID-19, we can't have anybody in the kitchen. In fact, Simon and Karen are my new family because when we all start social socializing again and we have to socialize in small groups, you, the only people we can socialise with is Karen and Simon. Yeah. So Simon, Simon is not bit Simon lives on his own. So he now has to join John and I, who now have to join Karen, her her son and daughter. How cool is that? So that's our new family. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be fun. So anyhow, so we used to do classes here. But then, you know, people always ask me about the cupcake bouquets and I can't share that with you because it is, um, it is... Oops, wrong camera. Simon! <laughs> Which camera was you on then? Top one, while you were doing that. See this? It's going to go right over there. Anyhow, 
the um the um I forgot what I was talking about. Well, I don't think I missed much. Yeah. I think we did because it was on for a minute. But anyhow, so with the cupcake the cupcake bouquet class we're gonna do online. We did our first online class on the 29th of April. And I will tell you, without being big headed, it was brilliant. I was really pleased of all the people who actually got involved. Um, where and they did smash them, just the front. Because I can't see it on the front unless I move. Right. Can you see it there, Simon? Surely you must be able to see it. There's no point doing any over the tops at the moment. Normally, I just stick this on with a big spatula. But I'm trying to be professional. Basically, I'm trying to waste a bit of time when I get my nerve together. <laughs> so I just see people put it in a bag. And I do do it in the bag like this sometimes, if I'm honest. Have I ever done it in the bag in front of you, Karen? Yeah, yeah. I think I have done it in the bag yeah, a couple yeah. of times. So, uh... You showed Martin being in the bag when we was the, um, when you did the baking class now with your assistant. Yeah. So the thing is, you could even fill your holes in like that if you wanted to. You know, that's nice as well, isn't it? Block them off. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to the next bouquet class. I certainly am. Yeah, so the, so the bouquet class, anyhow, it was great fun. It was online. Everybody got it. It's a whole day. It's a long day. We do lots of breaks. Anyhow, the next class is the 13th of May if you want to join. We do offer a special little bundle in there. Karen and I have not made them. That's our job for Thursday. But if you buy, when you when you join the cupcake bouquet class, there's um, a little reduced bundle in there. That gives you nearly everything apart from the cakes and the buttercream uh, of what, to, what you need on the day. Tools for the day, really. Um, but don't worry if you order them. As long as you order by Monday, half past one, the latest, we'll upgrade them to next day deliveries so that you'll get them. But Karen and I have got to make them yet, anyhow, so nobody be getting them yet. I think the last ones have just, what we already previously made has already gone out. Shut up. <laughs> right, I need more buttercream. You might have to make some more buttercream in a minute. Actually, I think I've got more than enough. I'm just panicking, yeah. I think by the time I scrape this off, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And then, oh yeah, um, and then, um, so the Cupcake Bouquet class is fantastic. Also, we've got a special little group just for Cupcake Bouquetters. And what a lot of them haven't realised, quite a lot of them have realised, but once you're in that group, you're in it forever. And every class that I do is in that group. So not only have you paid for the class once, but you get every single class that I do in there. It's like our own little gang, but it's getting to be a big gang now, isn't it? Yeah. You can never leave. No, that's <laughs> it. You have to do something really bad to get booted out. But it, it, it is really nice. So anybody who wants to come on and do the next actual live, with me can do it on that day the 13th or if you can't do it on the 13th you just watch the last pre-recorded one and um and follow that or you can watch the pre -re the, the recorded one on the 13th entirely up to you right you gave me another big spatula there didn't you did you give me a big spatula karen right just let me get an offset spatula a minute what do you want yeah i'm just gonna put the, the big offset one the big one yeah <laughs> Lynn says she can see you put peering over the mixer, Karen. What? Can she see if it, Oh, she can oh, see yes, on that she camera can, yes. down there. <laughs> see on that camera down there. Yeah, I was anywhere near Carol looking into the stainless steel bowl. Well, then you can see. Then you can see the social distance in there, yeah. can't you? Right. Okay then. So this is how I do it. Okay. So I can coat my cake like this, and then I use an offset spatula, and then what I do then is I hold it straight. And I just go all the way around. So this is how I do my cake. So 
So we're going to put the first coat on first. One second. Just got a bit of jam in there. Let's get rid of that one. Okay. Then I'm going to melt my. Just going to heat up my offset spatula there in hot water. Let's warm it up. Let's give it a quick warm light. Yes, Lisa, you can. Um, if you do purchase and watch the recorded live, you can message Carol. She can't answer you straight away, but she will answer any queries you do have about if you get stuck. Yeah. To be fair, Simon and Karen are here. Karen answers all the questions one day. Yeah, at least but you won't you get stuck. on the actual day. All oh, right, yeah. No, just message me, I can help you. To be fair, everybody who's watched your class, I've not had one question. It's so, it's so, it's so close up and so slow. We take it really yeah. slow. Everybody will show you. Yeah, cam work's amazing, so you can, <laughs> don't, you don't miss oh, a thing. Excuse me, he's heck not going to get out the door in a minute, is it? <laughs> Your head's grown a lot since you've worked here, and it's time. With that freaking beard that you've got as well. Oh. Don't think I'm not noticing how long that beard's getting. Oh, well, thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> it's getting straggly. It's not. So, it's Simon, I have a phobia. You know, we all have a phobia or something, don't we? Well, my phobia is beards. And always has been. I do not know why. Nobody's hurt me or done anything like that. You know, I don't know. They just freak me out. And the bigger they get, the more freaked out I get. I just, I just run off. It's the same with spiders, so, isn't it? They're, but I'm not they're, scared they're of spiders. They're the bigger they get, aren't they? Yeah, but I'm not scared of spiders. I'm scared of your freaking beard. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, when Simon first came, seven years ago, he had a massive beard. And I said, well, you can work for me, but you can't have that. <laughs> you have to get rid of it. So he looked at me and went, what? So, so he grew it longer. So <laughs> he grew it longer with a matching moustache that he then curled up. Used to sit there like that, yeah, curling that. it all up. Right, okay, so this is done now. The cupcake bouquet class is around six hours working with, is it like about an hour and a half off the breaks, Carol? Yeah, about, an, I think the first break was 45 minutes, wasn't it? Then we had another break. Uh, we don't sell those spatulas anymore, do we? Which ones? The, um, the offset ones, the, the big ones. The big ones? Yeah. We do sell one big yeah. one. I, I don't know how I big thought it you is. meant what we use in the bowl. No, no, we don't sell them ones. We don't sell the, uh, the spatula, we sell the palette knife. But we sell the offset ones, yeah. Right, so I don't think that's looking bad, is it? So I've cleaned my board. How's that looking there, Simon? Looking good. Right, okay, just got to sort the top out. <laughs> Another nervous moment. Is right. Sure got a shelf in the fridge, Carol? Yeah, please. Now, I'm not very good at getting sharp edges, so don't expect any of that. You're just pushing it up now if you're on a sharp edge. out of the way over there now. Yeah, because yeah, I know you're going near the fridge, so I have to keep right. social distancing everywhere around the corner. <laughs> you're still in the, um, you're still going to be in the picture. Oh, she's not bothered about that. Oh, no, no, it's because no, no, no. I've got to run up and down there. Yeah, I want to keep Karen has to keep going down the bottom end. Simon goes on the stairs and knocks himself out on the shelf. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry, I'm going to knock himself out. I know, was it painful that, Simon? Or did you notice any of us gave you any sympathy? I realised afterwards we just laughed, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Stefan and Carol's wetting the pan now. She's putting it in red hot water and then uh, smoothing the buttercream off. It gives it a, a nice smooth edge to it. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't give you any uh, sympathy, did we? Aren't we rotten? Terrible. <laughs> well, you did sort of say, are you alright? <laughs> did we? And then we sort of laughed. A lot. 
So, but the, the roll is going to help us get nice square edges, isn't it? Oh, well, I don't know how it does square edges. Listen, square edges are round cake. What? Square edges are round cake. Yeah. Round cake. Round cake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a cylinder, straight isn't it? It's edges. not a sphere. Simon, straight edges, not square. What? You said square, you said edge. square edges. Well, the top edge is square. Straight edges. Straight square. Square edges. <laughs> square edges. 90 degrees. Listen, I'm... It's like just a builder term. Listen, I'm Karen McFarland, rustic. Rustic is the way that we go. That's what we're doing here. Just be glad that the little rolly works. I am, as soon as I can find someone professional to do this professionally, then we'll do it. But at the moment, we're just doing it my way. Absolutely. So. <laughs> so, Lizzie, everybody likes your way, so you just carry on doing it. Well, what we can do is, after this, if it doesn't make great, we'll just make butterflies and stick them on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll do some. We'll go on better. We'll, just get, we'll just get the, the sugar soft roses that and just stick yeah. them all over it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, so we're on Cake Flicks on the 16th of May, by the way. Um, I don't know what I'm actually going to make on there. I thought I might decorate a Nifty Nozzles wedding cake. With blobs. <laughs> <laughs> I think that has to be my new name, doesn't it? Are you going to make sure you've got your butter icing or is John going to make it for you? No, we'll make sure we'll have freaking plenty. Let me tell you. Sorry, John, if you're watching. He shouldn't be watching, he should be working. <laughs> yeah, he can't be watching, can he? <laughs> you never know whether he's sneaky. Yes, don't forget to keep liking and sharing this live for to a chance to win a £25 I wasn't pushing that show. tonight, Karen. I actually don't want millions of people watching me do this. Well, listen, you have. Yeah. Millions of people watching you. Yeah, it's going to hit 500 before soon. We, we, yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not far off. Right, okay. I'm happy with that now. Yes. We'll cut this lot off afterwards. Let's get this in the fridge. Well, that's recycling. This is Carol Gattenberg. She what? loved her icing bags, tried them last week, washed them. She didn't yeah. need to throw them away. Pardon? She didn't need to throw them away. No, she you washed don't. them. You don't yeah. have to, actually. No, it's a good idea, that. Yeah. Tracy's got you on three screens. Oh, my God. <laughs> right, okay. So that's that out of the way. That's in the fridge. Let's move that out of the way. I'm going to get Karen to fill up the kettle, get that out of the way, clean the board, ready for later. We don't need the jam anymore. That can go. That's um, that's buttercream for the bin, Karen. That's got jam and stuff on it. I had to have an assistant tonight. There we go. Put that there. Right, and then let's show you new products. Got a brand new airbrush in today. Portable. Okay, wait till you see this bad boy. Portable airbrush. Do you know what that means? That means that you can actually go and touch up all your cakes. Whatever you want. <laughs> no wires, no nothing. So we'll just give that in the kit. We'll just give the cake in the fridge 15, 20 minutes. And I'll show you all the new products that are coming in. Have airbrush will travel. Eh? Have airbrush will travel. Yeah. <laughs> Right, Karen, I'm going to leave you to sort out the buttercream there yeah. in a minute. Only just put it in. Just put everything that's in that bowl and the other bowl in there. Yeah. Right, let me clean up because I like to have it all nice and clean. As you can see, the scraper I never use. I'm not one for using the scrapers, really. So uh, I like to use it with the offset spatula. But everybody has their own way of doing things. You know, some people love a scraper. I like to use the offset, offset spatula. It really doesn't matter, does I, I it? I always use a scraper. Do you or she's scared? <laughs> oh, cakes. <laughs> oh, dear. There you go. Oh, I've never done one, but if I did that's do that. one, that's what yes. I would use. That, that and that. Yes. They're all going together. together. And that one. And that one, yeah. Right. They can all go together. Are you using right. it again in a bit or is that it now? No, I'm going to use it again for the second layer of the cake. Right. Right. Okay, so let's talk to you about new products then. Let's get them all in. Ooh. 
Right, okay, chocolate mousse. So we're now a stockist with Calibo. We've always stopped, we've always stopped with Calibo, but I've always, um, I, I've never gone direct with Calibo. So and now I've gone direct, so I'm gonna start bringing more and more of their stuff in. But this chocolate mousse here comes in three flavors. We've got a white chocolate, a white chocolate, a dark chocolate and a milk chocolate and if you love mousse this is just such an easy product and um, I mean you don't want to use the whole bag I think the whole bag makes 50 servings so that just shows how far this bag's going to go and I think all you have to do is add water so I put the I put all the um, instructions actually on the website so let me just see what you need to do yes look at that one liter of, it's not water one liter of cold milk per 800 grams of powder that's the 800 grams of powder. So to be fair, you're not gonna want 50 servings. So all you do is just divide this and divide your milk. And it's as simple as just mixing on high speed. Got a mousse, it tastes absolutely amazing. Um, so and that's great for, you know, it's great for a dessert. Look what they've got different ideas on here, so I've never seen those. Put it on your cake, you can make it nice and firm as well. So those are in, so if you're looking for those, they're delicious as well. Then we've got the new crisp pearls in. So we've got lemon, we've got white crisp pearls, salted caramel. Um, I'll show you these. I've opened a bag of these. Um, when uh, Michael Lewis Anderson it was here, he was using the ruby crisp pearls. Now these are what you're just gonna sprinkle on your cake toppings, or you can mix them into your buttercream, you can mix them into your mousse, um, stick them on top of your donuts, stick them on top of your desserts. There's milk, dark, ruby, white, and salted caramel. And I'll just open the bag for the overhead there. So can you see inside that bag, Simon? So I'll just get rid of those because I've had my hands in the bag. But they are delicious, salty caramel. I had to open them up to see what they tasted like. So a few people have been waiting for these, but they are yummy, yummy, yummy. And 800 grams are gonna last you forever, forever. So, uh, so that's those. And I think Danielle is gonna use the ruby ones tomorrow. So I'll send her some to you. So Danielle's on tomorrow. So doing our lives this week, and um, today should have been a bank holiday Monday, but as you all know, the bank holiday Monday moved to Friday for the VE Day celebrations. And are we on this camera, Simon, by the way? Yeah. Yeah, good. <laughs> for the VE Day celebrations. And then, you know, like we brought out two um, icing sugars for that, which was the sticky toffee pudding, which is going down an absolute storm. You're loving it. And um, that's back in stock, by the way, today. Uh, and the apple crumble as well. Every bag sold 50p of that is a donation that goes to the uh, Help for Heroes. So we'll be making an announcement next week on how much we raised for that, yeah? So well done to all of you who did that. Um, other new products, pink board. Karen brought this in the other day. Now these pink boards are exclusive to Sugar and Crumbs. I have them made specially for us. And um, the supplier has promised not to sell them to anybody else. They are more expensive than any of your other boards. Now these boards are non-stick, so it comes with a gripper. These boards are non-stick, but this one is ideal if your kitchen isn't so big. You won't actually let any of your family and friends sort of, um, sort of, uh, what's I going to say? Touch it. Touch it, no. But what you do need to do with it, when you feel it, when it comes, if you rub your hands over it, scratch it like that, and then look at it, you will see a lot of little scratchy marks. Well, basically, it's got um, a texture on it that's, that stops it a bit so that you can use it for being non-stick. So do not put this in your dishwasher, okay? What you do is, is that you, um, you know, you just wipe it clean. That's all you do. If you do use a cutter on it, like, I, you know what I'm like, I'm very precious about the boards. Nobody's allowed to use cutters on them. But they are a chopping board, to be fair, technically. But if you do catch it, 
or get get a little mark on it you know a little mark on it just get some treks and just rub the treks in and every now and again because we use our board all the time every now and again give it a good wipe over then just put some treks on um, a kitchen towel and then just rub it over and then polish it in it's a bit like a wok you know when they say with a wok you season a wok and you never wash a wok do you so we don't put too much treks on just a tiny bit and then give it a really good rub in just to keep that nice texture but you don't need to do that for months seriously you don't um but anyhow that's the new medium board that's in so there's a small one which is a very small one and there's this one but the sizes are on there so this is in now okay so i'll pop that over there out of the way should we get the cake out again how long has it been in there about 10 minutes 10 minutes all right then so before we do that, before we get the cake out again, just let me tell you about these. So these are in stock, buffing brushes. Look how pretty these are. Cool, so so. they are lovely, aren't they? So let me just say, so when you're getting them out, get them out gently, but for buffing your cake. So you know when you luster your cake, so after you've sugar pasted it, and then you put that lovely, gorgeous Fay Hill luster dust on, then you need to, you need a nice buffing brush. Just look at that, Simon, over the head there. It's just oh. lovely. Go, we'll go to the overhead. Hey. We'll go to the overhead. It's just lovely, yeah? So with this one, there's two colours. Unfortunately, you can't choose the colour, but they're both gold. One's a rose gold. And I uh, don't know what I've done with my gold one. What have I done with that one? Is it the tear? I don't even saw one before. Yeah, have, it. have I left it on my desk? Let me just see. Yeah, I've left it on my desk. I'll go and get it afterwards, but anyhow, there's a lovely gold one. But if you order one of these, you, you get a gold one, either rose gold or a gold. Um, but these are lovely, but they're special, but don't get them wet. Um, they're just for buffing, okay? And then when you want to clean them, so let's say you're changing colours, just put some corn flour on a dish, put that in your dish, rub it, and tap it out onto your kitchen roll and give it a nice clean. Yeah, they're that's all you need to do. For the yeah, rush. they're £7.49. They are expensive, but they are nice. And they click in, don't they look nice? They look like them. Windows. Yeah, like them. So they're on the website now. And the pink board is for the paper basket, it's £59.99. Yeah, the pink board's £59.99. It is expensive, but it's, it's you know, like this big one here is £110. I can't do nothing about that. It should actually be dearer than that. But the reason you're paying a lot of money is because of the pink pigmentation. Pink's very expensive, but this board is very expensive. That's why you're paying more. Do you have um, green ones in as well, Carol? We do have green ones in. The green ones are cheaper and they're great as well. We always use the green ones and we love them. And I never let anybody chop on them either. But being sugar and crumbs and we're pink, and those girls like pink, I've had these brought in, but I've got lots of green ones up there that we use all the time. And that doesn't mean they've gone to waste, they are treasurably looked after as well, aren't they, Karen? Could you just uh, reassure Elizabeth, one of the little grips of the boards has fell out, and what do you always say about the grips on the bottom of your boards? You know what, on the, oh, on the green board? Yeah, they fell out and you can't find a replacement. Right, if I was you, this is what I do. Um, on some of the green boards, is it a culprit green board or I've got one green board that's got a little black one. Personally, I take them off and, and I've always taken them off because I find that even with the, like these don't have any feet on them, these ones or that one. We now just only have gripper on it. So the ones that have got gripper, that's all they have. If it doesn't come with a gripper, it comes with little feet. And I don't like the feet because when you're rolling on it, you sort of like get a little bend in your board. So I actually take the feet off and use a piece of gripper underneath it. So that's personally what I would do. Um, I can't get you any more feet for it. The only other thing is if you want to keep the feet, use a bit of blue tack. So, um, you know, a little bit of blue tack, but roll that into a little ball and then just stick that underneath the same hand. Or you could that get the work. little uh, buffers that you, the self-adhesive buffers that you get for kitchen doors. Yeah, you can, you can get them, but you've got to run around B&Q in Tesco's and find out which size you want. So I think a little bit of blue tack will do for now. I must admit, I'm with you. I, I took the feet off mine. Mm. As I, it, there's some give in the board when you're rolling. Yeah, there was. Yeah. So uh, there's no, there's no giving It means you can use both sides as well yes, then, doesn't absolutely. it? Yes, it does. Yeah, and you can use both sides. So um, the new uh, jumbo muffin pan, okay, these are in. Um, these are not, they, yeah, we don't sell cupcake cases to go with these. These are just for your big muffin pans. Um, so it's not the um, extra deep one, the king side one, it's your jumbo muffin pan. So if you're looking for making like, um, well, a big muffin, then. <laughs> 
That's what you want, isn't it? Uh, but they're, they're actually excellent. So, um, and they do, they're, they're actually excellent. Um, they cook very well. I would probably just bake straight into there and then make that. You know what? Let's have a go and we'll play with it one day and I'll show you what to make with it. That's the best thing to do. And they're right. £8.49. Yeah, okay. So, new sprinkles. So, these are called Silver Explosion. So, let me just get the camera up there. And they taste amazing. So can you see them there, Simon? Let me just adjust that so we can actually see them. See, see you a little bit, that's it. So I think you can see there, they're all different si uh, sizes of silver balls. They're not those hard ones. And, and the reason I know they're not those hard ones, can we go to the front camera? Yeah. And the big one there, Carol, it's about the size of a Malteser, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So the reason that I can well, tell you... Well, the chocolate sweets are available. Eh? <laughs> the yeah, reason yeah. I can tell you they're not those hard ones. Oh. 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 No broken oh, teeth? So good. No broken no teeth. No broken teeth. No. They're not those hard ones. They're brilliant. So they're quite nice as well. So they're in. Are they by the Happy Sprinkles? Mm-hmm. They are under Happy Sprinkles. Everything's under what's new anyhow. So if you go to the front of the website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to the front there, go into what's new. They're all in there. Um, we do the piping tips as well, but the ones I use all the time, um, I know we normally do them in a strip of four, which is the uh, petal tip, the leaf tip, and uh, drop flower, and a smaller petal tip. But not everybody likes to use that small petal tip, so the new free one is in as well. So you just get the free nozzles on there. I'm going to get my cake out in a minute because I think I need to get it out. And then these come in packs of ten. So look at that. For a slice of cake so you can you can slice it that way you can have it that way whichever way you want to put it in it's got a little love heart foldy flap at the back there so that's quite cute isn't it and these come in packs of 10 in china blue so they're nice i quite like them so if you just want it you know if you've made a big cake for somebody you just want to give them a slice there you go they're perfect and then we're going to play with this now look at this so when I've crumb coated that cake in a minute and done the little rolly over it, we're going to use this PME airbrush that's just come out. It's only just been launched. And look at this, I love it already. I love it just for the colour, if I'm really honest. I must have bling bling, guys. Me, me, you, but wait. Ooh, yeah. 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 So I must have bling bling, guys. Seriously. Yeah. I did that as well when I was photographing it. <laughs> you went, ooh, ooh. Did you Simon? <laughs> So, uh, so there it is. Uh, so you just chant. So you're just going to put your. Are you looking up there? Yeah. You're on the top at the moment. Yeah. yeah. So you're just going to pop your pen on there. It already comes charged. Yeah. There's a little button there. Can you see that? It's lovely and quiet. It's very quiet. Yeah. Isn't it? And I, I can't sort of. Uh, what have we got? That won't be rusty enough, will it? Can't got anything to. Uh, so you can see it there, how it's blowing. Yeah. It's so that's great for a portable now, yeah. portable there if you want to take it with you. And you just charge it up with a USB charger. How cool is that? That's it. Simple. Absolutely amazing. Um, you've got a little dropper there to stick into your colour. So you can pop that into your colour and then squirt that into there. So that's ideal as well. So we'll have a little play with that. But I think that is gorgeous. Don't you like that? I love it. I like that. So I'm I've, I've, I've bought 10. But I have got three colours, so the first three people who buy this will get the uh, PME airbrush colours. They'll get a bronze, a pearl and a gold. And we're going to use all those colours on this cake afterwards. So uh, hide, whatever the little rolly mucks up, they're going to hide it. So uh, we'll use those. So the first three that are sold tonight will get those, um, get those three colours free of charge. All right. And I'll see them on the website later. There they go. So let me put that out of the way. Let's get that out of the way. And let's get back. Oh, we've got glaze cleaner in as well. Do you remember I said to you about glaze? You know, when, you, when you're painting with, the, with your glaze, when you, when you use your brushes with glaze cleaner, um, new glaze cleaner in. And it'll be great as well for the Magic Colors Sparkle Glaze as well. So you can use this, dip your brush in, it brings your colors right up nice and clean again. So that's one. And then with the airbrush colours as well, they do now do a packet of eight. So in the packet of eight, you get gold, lime, scarlet, pitch black, leaf green, yellow, pink and blue. 
So that's on the website as well. They only used to do them in packs of six, they're now doing them in packs of eight. So that's a new product. It wasn't even on the website. I had to ring them today to find out how much she charged me for it. So uh, there you go. Right, so I'm your big Stop fan putting of it off, Carol. I oh, know. <laughs> yeah, you can use it metallic paints in that uh, portable airbrush. Yeah, you can. Use, yeah. yeah, but they're all metallic, them, anyhow, aren't they? Yeah. I think they're metallic. Huh? It's sixty nine ninety nine for the portable yeah. airbrush. Right, you do as much talking as you can. Now you've got to just do it now. I'm not boy, did it? I'll see it. So, did you rebuy the kettle for me, Karen? I did. Uh, where's it? Which container is it? Um, it lasts oh, fifty it's minutes. It's all, oh, it's here. It's Let's see whoever was asking. Hello. Um, what somebody asked how long it ran, how long, how long it went for. It how, long, how does what go for? How long does the airbrush go for? 50, 50, five zero minutes. Yeah. 50 minutes, and I think it's an hour and a half charge. An hour and a half to charge and 50 minutes run time. Well, you know, you get really stuck and wherever you're driving to, you can plug, because it's got a USB, you can just yeah. plug it to your car, charge I, your car. That's a lot of cakes that you're doing 50 minutes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it means if you are if you are delivering a wedding cake, you've got your tools there to uh, quickly help with any kind of cake. Yes, the airbrush is online now to sell. It's in the What's New section. Right, bit of a wonky cake, this, isn't it? <laughs> Right. Well, luckily, we have the little Roly that's going to well, sort it all out. Well, the little isn't going to sort that problem out, not at all. <laughs> so let's just do this. So we're just going to put our next coating on. Just add a little bit of water. Soften the buttercream. Is it possible to add too much water, Carol? Yes, of course, and then you create blobs. Are you being so Is that you that? <laughs> You're a cheeky one, you know. Tell me something, honestly. You don't have wind me up, doesn't it? Uh, oh, sorry. That's me sometimes. He asks questions. I think it's you lot asking me questions. I realise it's him. He's grinning behind the camera. Don't worry. Karen and I sort him out after. Oh, without Every Facebook Live. He oh, gets dear. told to go outside and rethink about what he said and come back think in about again. your life. <laughs> I know, Kathy, I'm the same as you. You can't make decisions, just buy it all. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's nice, so that isn't that, it? I really like that. That is, I am. I'd like. buy it, I'd buy it, never use it, just look at it. I think it's so. absolutely gorgeous, <laughs> Yeah, I do. And yeah, there's only 10 in stock at the moment, they were only released today. So. And as I say, they're that new, that um, isophobia, I need to see how much they're worth. Right. The butter icing is lemon drizzle flavoured tonight. Yeah, we've got a big five kilo bag of it. He is cruising for a bruising limb. We're going to yeah. get him later. Oh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> The thing with him is, he's been working here for seven years, but you lot didn't know him, and that's why he's so cocky. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes are you going to answer that about YouTube? Yes, of course he'll be on YouTube, Karen. Right, he's not the new boy. Oh yeah, I forgot about YouTubers. Sorry, YouTubers, are you there? Yes. Right. I'm sure they are there. Yeah. Okay, so let's get another bag then. Put but due to Wi-Fi in. issues, we can't oh, look and check everything's going okay. Oh, right. I'm Otherwise, on, we might risk I'm the stream. I'm on data now, so I'm on, I'm on, free, on my data, so yeah. I'm just going to go and have a quick nosy. So let's put the next cover coat on this. So it does have to have a thick coat. Your cake should have a thick coat, anyhow. Yeah, we're on YouTube. We're going fine. Good. like the leaning tower peas of this cake at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> have to push it back the other way. Wow. Sandra, you've got in there. She what? just bought the beautiful spray gun. Oh, has she? <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, I'll let you know afterwards whether you're first or what. I should imagine you'd be first. Because nobody knew about it until I told you all. Until I told you just then. So I don't know whether to get your lines out, whether it has to be back in the fridge again or without the fridge. So as I say, there's actually no instructions on um, sorting this out. And as I say, I'm a bit, I'm a bit solo on it because even Evil Cake Genius have not messaged me back to tell me how to use it. And there's nothing on their website Just, just go for it, Carol, with the um, with the rolly on it. You can't go for it. Yeah, I've got to put another coat of buttercream on. What a third coat. Well, can you see the brown through there? So let me just put another one on. Just got your time, and you can't crumb coat. You can't rush. You can't rush out. No, you shouldn't be rushing it anyhow. Take your time. So Liz would like to know, can you tell her about Little Rolly and where it comes from, please? Right, so the Little Rolly, I've got to be honest, I never heard of the damn thing until somebody messaged me and said, Carol, are you still in the Little Rolly? And I'm like, ooh, what's the Little Rolly? Mm -hmm. So anyhow, so after several requests of will I sell the Little Rolly? I thought I'd best sort of investigate, but by the time we got round to investigating, Evil Cake Genius contacted me direct and said, do you want to sell the little roll? And I said, oh, that's funny. I've had quite a few requests. So I went, yeah, great. But then when I said, made an announcement, shall I sell the little roll? You lot went bonkers. So um, I'll explain what it is in a minute. So it's basically, it's like a little rolling pin for your walls, except this one's for cake. And um, you can buy them from America, because they are from America. Um, you can buy them off Evil Cake Genius website, um, direct. They're cheaper, obviously, because you're buying them from America, and it's their own tool, but the shipping's very expensive. So we've had them here, but instead of um, just buying the one set and you all falling madly in love with it and wanting another one, we've sold them in sets of two. Now, how Brian's selling them is, is that he's selling them as uh, the set with one handle, three rollies and a refill set. But to be fair, I looked at it and I thought, you know what, let's get you the whole two sets. So we'll have a look at the set in a minute. Right, I think that's smooth enough, isn't it? Says, says me who's got a big wedge. Uh, I don't think we're always gonna get that one out. So you can dry your cloth if you want after you've dipped it in the water, but I'm just lazy. I'll just shake it on there. So some of you will be going dry your cloth, but you don't have to. The good thing with the offset spatula, look, you can hold it there like, like that, Renny Cake, and smooth it round. I like it. Don't know what brand this one is. It's either PME or Wilton. I don't know that. I don't remember that many much stock left of your uh, spray guns, Carol. Oh, do you remember it's the first free <laughs> we've ordered? Get it? Don't be shouting at me. It's the first free. As you all know, I'm very rustic. I'm not, I'm not very good at covering cakes, but that's the best it's going to have to be.
So this is the caramel McFarland rustic cake because I would be covering this up with all sorts of things now. fridge for a minute while I quickly show you the little rolly. So I know it needs some more buttercream on but you know what I think we're just going to have to go with it aren't we. I mean you're gonna you're gonna paint it aren't you spray it so. Okay. You're gonna spray it to cover up those brown bits. Yeah yeah. Sorry, I think that looks alright there. Yeah. We're going to have to have the rustic edge. You've done it so well, Jasha, you need to use the roller. It, well, the idea, it's only meant to be that it's a roll it. It's not meant to be you slap the buttercream on and then you roll it smooth. You do have to put some work into it. But I think that's about the best we're going to get. Yeah, that looks there like is it's ready to be a little roly. Can you see the edge? Can you see any of the... Where, where am I supposed to be yeah, looking, Carol? Yeah, camera here. This one. That's not on that. Oh, is it that? One. Right. So can they see all the little blemishes and that yeah. that we hope to be able to rub out? Yeah, I can see all of that. Yeah, I don't know whether we're going to get like these really thick ones out, but we'll see. Yeah, it looks like it, it looks rustic, so <laughs> <laughs> like you're wanting it to. It's a demonstration, Carol, isn't it? Am I in trouble again? Should we that Carol, or should we just leave you for a bit? Right, what time is it, Carol? I'll get me it's, uh, one minute past nine. Right, one minute past nine. So let me show you what the little roll is. Here we go. So we decided then, John and I, that rather than muck about and just buy this one set, if you all loved it and it was amazing, um, let's buy the refill set. But to be fair, when I looked at the price, I thought, you know what, let's go for another handle because I can't have anyone phoning me crying that they broke the handle. So here we go. We're now going to undo one. Praise the Lord. No, so. we don't sell those turntables, I'm afraid. No, we sell, we sell the cake star. Yeah. The, Let me just tell you about these turntables, okay? I mean, I've told you all this before. Are they pretty and are they good? Absolutely. I've got another one that's um, a flatter base as well. Don't know where it is. Uh, I'll have a look. It might be in the cupboard there, or it could be in the other room. But basically, I wanted a Tico turntable. And um, I've just been conned again with it this weekend. I've, I've got to send some stuff back to Amazon. But you know when you put like, I put a, a Tico turntable into Amazon as a search, that's not enough. So as a search, and um, and when it came, I trusted that it was in a Tico turntable. Um, I didn't even, you know, I should have read what was on the box. But look, it doesn't, it doesn't stay still. It just, it just moves. It doesn't, you've got no control. And it's, can you see that? Can they see that? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so it moves like that. It didn't used to, but as time's gone on, that's what it does. Um, and then I contacted a Tico, and it turns out it's not a Tico. So, you know, those clever people that um, put tell fibs in their bit of advertising. So that what they do is they put it in their SEO search terms, so it's a little bit misleading. And funny enough, I bought um, some new fit flops last week and because uh, i love wearing fit flops and they came they look pretty didn't they karen they i said um yeah. i said they're not fit flops and anyway, i took them upstairs and i thought i'd put them on over the weekend crikey I, I only walked two steps and they squeak 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 so i've had a look on amazon they're not fit flops that's what they put in their seo term that, that, i don't know there's some brand but they're gonna have to go back because they're squeaking it i've not even walked them they're like sticky it's like walking on this floor but i'm in, on my bedroom carpet so they're going back and yeah, so you get three rollies in here. Yeah. You get your handle, you pop it in, and you've got to press it in till it's clicked. So it's not going to click that way. So you've got, you've got to hear the click. There you go. Did you hear the click? Didn't think pop out then. No. So you've got to hear the click, and then you get your cake out. So, having read the instructions on the back, which I hadn't read earlier, previous to this, get flawless finishes. Now, did you hear that? Flawless, flawless. finishes on buttercream, ganache, and royal icing. 
it's easy frost cakes or cookies roll the frosting finisher in a bit of powdered sugar or cornstarch then roll out any imperfections reapply cornstarch or sugar if needed wash in soapy water and sanitize as you do other tools squeeze out excess moisture and hang to dry to avoid creating a flat side or dents so basically don't be leaving it like that so you gotta hang it don't know how you're gonna hang it girls we'll worry about how we're gonna hang it afterwards so how long's that been in there then? It's been in there now four minutes. Okay. Um, so who's ordered the uh, who's ordered the portable? Just while I uh, wait for a few minutes. I think about ten people. Oh really? I, think we're not really I only had ten in stock. Yeah. So uh, loads. Is it Prezi to self? Pardon? Prezi to self. Or Prezi to self. Prezi they to are self. pretty good, aren't they? Really so cool. I mean, I do, we will have a go at it. We are going to use it on this James cake in a minute. James says at least it's an airbrush I'll get and not a plant stapler. So, um, but we are going to use it, we're going to see how it works in a minute. So, let's get the cake sorted out first. Your powdered sugar is on the plate there. Right, oh, yeah. So, powdered sugar. So, just so many overhead, Simon. Do we need that much powdered sugar on it, Karen? And the spoon slipped. Right, I wouldn't think that we would need that much. I'll just grab another plate. Okay, we'll never see the cake again if we put it in that much sugar, Karen. Once it just pick up what it, what it needs. No, it just... no. I'm hoping it's going to pick off and work miracles and that get me out of this, this mess I'm in. So. You're not in a mess, you're doing fine. Right. Well, I'm here ready to step right, in Jackie when you're not crying. Jackie says she now knows why the roly kept falling off, it didn't click. Ah, uh, right, good, good, good. There you go, have to read the instructions. So at least it's it's sort of looking a bit more normal again, isn't it? Right, where's mine? So I'm just gonna roll it in here. And what we'll do, Simon, what can you see? Which camera can you see on there now? I'm looking at the side one at so the moment. Let's have a little look. Because we've got these little dodgy bits here, haven't we? Can you see them at all? I can go to the front if we like, if that makes it better, but. Which one? So I'm just gonna dust it off on there. So we've got quite a lot of imperfections on here, haven't we? The portable yeah. airbrush kit is now out of stock. Oh, you're joking, crikey. <laughs> I can have some more, don't worry. I'll have them here for Wednesday. I'll put them in stock when I finish. I'll put them in stock. I might ask PME if they fancy doing a bit of a giveaway. So I'll find out. That's put them under pressure, isn't it? So I'll find out tomorrow if they want to do a bit of a giveaway for, for them. I can't promise anything because that giveaway is my giveaway. So I'll ask them, see if they want to do something. That drops me right in it, doesn't it? So <laughs> message me if you want one, if you get one as a giveaway, and then I can ring them and say, listen, I've got 500 people here who want one. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, okay. So can you see that imperfection there, Simon? Uh, oh yes. Very yeah. clear, yes. Is it clear? Because you yeah. can see them around here, can't you? I can see so, that one on the side that you yeah. had, yeah. Right, okay. So I'm right-handed girl, so what I'm going to have to do is... I'm, oh, I'm going to have to work... Uh, do you know what? I'll try it, try it that way. Well, let's just keep doing that a minute. Who's had a go with their little rolly already? And you've dipped, that's icing sugar you've Just used Just icing there. sugar, yeah. Do you know what? I actually... It's working. <laughs> I might have to apologise, everybody. So let's get this uh, this bit out first. Oh, you know what? It's working. Bye, Joe. <laughs> you Bye know Joel. what, girls? I think I've smashed it. All <laughs> 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 oh, forgiven, Brian, for not bringing me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We didn't need them. Eh? We didn't need them. It's a bit bad they leave me on my own with oh, it, isn't it? Eh? Knowing full well I'm not a cake decorator. You bored them now, you, you, you figure it out. <laughs> eh? I figured it out. <laughs> you have to figure it out yourself, you bought them. They don't need to be nice anymore. Yeah, right, I've just got some buttercream on here which I don't particularly want. So I'm just going to take that off. And that's the great idea of having all those spares, isn't it? Did you anybody actually it? tell you how you take the thing off? No. Oh, they are like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've got a big gouge of buttercream in there. I have to say, I might now be reassured. Oh, 
Yeah, but she's sixty nine ninety nine when it comes back into stock. Listen, if you want one, message me, and I'll see if I can get PME to do a bit of a deal tomorrow and get you all the uh, get you all the. Uh, I can't get that one back on. Where's the other one? Carol's dipping the uh, mini roller in powdered sugar, icing sugar. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Right. Okay. Well, girls, I have to say. So wait a minute. I have to say, I think I'm reassured. In fact, I'm not saying I think I'm reassured. I am reassured. It's a powdered sugar that did it. Yeah. Just turn it the other way over, Carol, so you can get them bits at the bottom, so the handle's yeah. not. Yeah. It's because I'm not left-handed. That's the problem. You see, there's always one of them. I'm, hey. I'm left-handed. I'm left-handed. Is that left-handed roller then? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> Because the camera the is there. there. <laughs> That's why. It's not that I'm doing it with my right hand, but I would normally roll like this, not like just, that. Just hang on then. You, you, I mean, no, you're on the right. overhead at the moment. Can you move that? Let's see if we can move that over. That'd be better, won't it? And then we can get it closer, can't we? What do they think? They're very impressed. I'm, I'm freaking impressed myself, I tell you. Fantastic, impressive. It um, it does work. It is for ganache, Swiss buttercream, Swiss meringue buttercream, yeah. or buttercream. It will work with all those. I have to say, I wasn't impressed because I was scared, yeah. but I am impressed now. Now, Nicola says, if you had a deep coloured buttercream, would it leave icing white sugar marks? That's a very good question. I don't, I don't know. know. Mm. But. What I am going to do is, so on the video, let's just go for it. Now we're getting cocky. Now we're getting cocky, girls. Don't get cocky. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, but look at that. Can you see? There's no lines on it, Karen. There's not. There's absolutely there's none. not. It's brilliant, that. There's none at all. Yeah, Jane said that looks super. She was very sceptical about the roller, but now she's going to buy one. <laughs> okay. Who's Jet Miss James at? Yeah, that doodle. Right. They're called Little Rollies. Little Rollies, yeah. They're 22 99 They're in the What's New section on the website. Well, I have to say, girls, I really thought tonight was going to be... I'm not blagging you here. I really thought... Are we on this camera? Yeah. I have to be honest. I've been SHI whatever myself all day wondering why I was going to do this. And what did John say? What did I tell you that John said? John said, do not go on there without practicing first. Yeah, he said, and I said, but John, I've told him going on as a virgin, you know, I'm going on as a virgin, I'm going to open the packet, I'm going to do it like that. And he said, don't, Carol, don't do it. But he's at work, so he doesn't know what we're doing. So, well, we have, and I have to be honest, I have, I, I was really scared. Lorraine said she tried hers. And being naughty didn't read the instructions and well, took the buttercream off. I have to be honest, Jane. If I, I have not read those instructions while this has been in our office for two weeks, have you read them? No. I've not read them. I've been on the website, had a look, and there's nothing, and I've not read the instructions at all. Instructions the it. first time I read them was when I turned them over and I said to you, it doesn't even come with instructions, that's what I said to you. And then I read them and I thought, hmm, maybe it does. <laughs> Maybe it does. So I have to say, I'm actually impressed with that. That's not too bad, that. So forget about the square top because we'll sort that out afterwards. So let's, um, so there we go. I'm pleased with that. That, that looks superb and that has took all the marks of the palette knife off. That's took all the lines off. It's so brilliant. let's just do the test because it says, if you knock it, see that? That's what they do. Did you catch that on the camera there? Yeah. yeah. Right. So if you knock it, oh, please, Lord. So, <laughs> you knock it, you know, like we all do, we knock cakes, don't we? And that's a good idea, chocolate buttercream, use a sugar and crumbs, chocolate flavoured icing oh, sugars. Oh, yes, And yes. that's come from Lisa Brown, that, well oh, done. Oh, well done, Lisa. Right, so if you knock it, which we all do that, how many of us do that to our cakes? So let's see if we're going to get this out now. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, my God. Look at that. I don't believe it. That is. Look at that. This is like Wonderbrush. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> I tell you, Brian from Evil Cake Genius. Leave it with me. Do you know what? I might become good at this job, you know. 
There it still is there. Look, so it's gone. It's, it's absolutely, look, it's gone. look at that. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Oh. That was just a, just a bit of a, t I don't know if that was the original one. Just a tiny bit there. Absolutely look. brilliant. Shall I do that again? Shall I get cocky yeah. and do it no. again? Yeah. Oh no, don't do, oh, oh. no. Ca Carol, what have you done? <laughs> well, I'm you getting can never, cocky now, it's, it's so not good. possible to repair that. It's what so are you gonna good. do? Listen, if anyone's not bought one off me, you can only buy them off me, there's only me who's stocking them. Don't be going to any other company buying them. None of them stood up in front of you and showed you, did they? Hey? I'm and remember, the one who comes here and shows you don't be buying a, a little roller set from the pound shop yes. because they're highly toxic yeah. and it's not food safe. And this no, is guaranteed you know food it. safe. Yeah, exactly. Well done, Simon. Right, so let's do this again. Oh, look at that. Wow, I can't believe it. Look at that, Karen. Absolutely. Can you see brilliant. it on the camera there? I'm just I'm watching Oh, yeah, I'm 30 here. seconds behind, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, I mean, I've watched the first one that you got out of. Look at that. Yeah, very good. Gone. Gone. Well done, yeah. evil Kate Genius. Now, just sort, sort the top out, Carol. Oh, oh forget that. Said, a lot of people said, can you sort the top out? Yes. Can I sort the top out? Yes. Oh. I've never done this. I've, ne I've never done this. Samantha said, <laughs> found rolling it vertically works really well. Yes. That's what she said, because Samantha must have used hers as well. Yeah. I don't know. Chris right, right. says, glad you've done the demo, because I wouldn't have read the instructions. She'd have just gone straight ahead. Yeah, how many people would have thrown that in the bin? <laughs> right, okay. So let me just do my top now. I'm so pleased that's over. I really thought it was going to be a bad night tonight. I thought this one was going to go down on YouTube forever as being my finest. <laughs> 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 so. Oh, I can't do square edges. I can't do straight edges, girls. It is straight edges, isn't it? Yes. But well, that's what Simon said. No square what? edges. Square, square edges. corners? Yeah. 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 Yes, those rollers are like those magic erasers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they do work, it's great. Sharon's going to give it a try of royal icing. Let us know you get on, Sharon. Yeah. Somebody give it a try on the Nash. Right. Let me just let that dry a moment. Right, let that dry for a moment and then let's load up our airbrush. So I'll give it a little roll with that in a minute and then let's load up our airbrush. Oh, I'm so pleased that is over and done with. <laughs> oh my goodness. So now girls, you can all use your little rolly with confidence. Be reassured when Karen McFarlane says you buy the little rolly. <laughs> it works. I just knew that it would come winging my way. And I have to be honest, since it's, I've been scared about it arriving, thinking, oh my Lord, I hope it's gonna work. And since it's arrived, people have asked me how to use it. I'm like, oh my Lord, you have no idea. So, and then I thought, you know what? I, I need to get it out of the way. I really do need to get it out of the way. But I have to say, I am impressed with that. And I'm not a cake decorator. So, I know I need a cup of tea. A lot of people, a few people have said they've rolled the top of it with it and it's worked just as fine mm. as well. So, yeah, that's brilliant. I saw on the group a lady do it with um, a dome cake and she was really happy with it. And I've seen a couple of comments where they were negative about it as well. So, let's uh, lid off. We'll go for gold first. You're going right to the top, aren't you? You're going for gold, aren't you? Yeah, may as well. Go for gold. I'm going to try and do one of those where you've got splashes of gold and splashes of silver and uh, splashes of bronze. So we'll have to keep cleaning it out. So let's see if we can just smooth the top. Still a bit wet on the top, actually. Sorry. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It works the top great. Oh, yeah. brilliant. It does. There you go, lady. She's done the top just for you lot. Yeah, no, it works on the top as well. Now, obviously, Matt, I've got a bit of a dip here because yeah. I'm not very, very good at levelling my cake. But no, it does. There you go, ladies. That does. There you go. So I hope you're all going to use them now and uh, not put them to the back of your cupboard and not bother with them. Yeah, not look at it as another gadget. Yeah, that's fine. A 
And obviously, if you've got a perfectly flat top cake like some of you look are so clever at doing, oh, you'll be fine. Mind you, if you're that clever at doing it, you don't need one of these, do you? It's for us <laughs> rustic people that make these things. Those clever vlogs who know how to do this without a rolly, they're not going to buy one, are they? And what do they need one for? But I will say, for getting that little dig out, that was good, isn't it? Done it Absolutely, twice now. Yeah. Right, let's put, let's um, let's play with the airbrush. Let's play with the airbrush. Let me get some kitchen roll. Let's do what kitchen roll that is. Right. Let's get that. Right, for those, that have we sold out of those airbrushes already? I'm afraid so. Right, if we've sold out of those airbrushes, I'll ring PME tomorrow, tell them we've sold out, and then I'll see if um, it'll give us some free paints for all of you. I think we've got a couple of people here who said they'd like to order one. Yeah. Message me if you want to order one. So don't message me via this site, go via Messenger. Have a look on there. Um, or go to the contact page, that would be the best way. Yes. The best way is go via our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Go via there, go to contact, and then give your details in there. Just say, Carol, I want one of those. And then it's easy for me to read. It makes me really dizzy, you know, because some of you text me, some of you WhatsApp me, some of you send it on Messenger, on my Messenger, some of you send it by the page. And I, you know what, sometimes I get really dizzy, and some of you are really that clever. You message me everywhere, and then I'm totally dizzy. <laughs> so it just drives. <laughs> just message me in one place, just go via the website. So I'm only putting this down because I don't want it all over the board. So here we go. So we're going to have a go at the gold first. Alison's warned the husband of the little rollies for a cake, not for his painting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, I feel, I feel all hot and overcome now. Oh, so, yeah, uh, really good. Yeah, so I'll ring PME tomorrow and say, listen, we did such a good job on our demo that you lot to buy one of these, want one of these for free, if you want some of these for free, so let's see what I can do, I get on very well with the lad there, let's see what he's like. So, uh, just gonna put a bit of gold in there, squirt it in. I like that, you know, look at that little squirty bottle. Yeah. Got a, bottle, a, a little thingy in as That's well. Nice. So I like That's that. Widgets, the like only it. thing is though, I won't be able to put it back in there, you're gonna have to work out how to get the top off, if there's anything left. You'll have so. to put it in a different container and store it. We'll have to use it all on the cake. Right, okay. So let's have a go what it looks like. So are we on this camera here, which is great, isn't it? Um, you're on the front at the moment, but right. we're on that now. So I'm not, what I want to do with this one, I want to just, I'm just gonna go over with different colors. All right, so uh, let me just check. I haven't got no dodgy You have to turn the power on. I've got the power on. Is yeah. it, it's turn the power on, Carol. I've got the power on. Yeah, just press it in fully. Yeah. Press it in fully. Yeah. And then release it. Now press it in fully so it sticks. Oh right, right. And then it use stick? the button on the top to fire the paint. Yes. Oh right, I wonder why there's no paint coming out. I thought I just had to do that. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> thought I had to do that, Simon. How do you get it in? Go on, have you had a go at this? Yeah. I didn't use any paint in it. Hold, no, hold it in, it stays Oh, there. it's in now, yes. Oh, I see. You see that? Oh, yes. God, look at that. I was trying to spray it with that button. Oh, Simon, I tell you, you've kept your job for another week, you have to tell wow. you. Right? A week? <laughs> a week. <laughs> now, the other day, we got told we got it for the day. You, you've just uh, got, a got a week. Motion, got, got a week. week. Well, so I don't just... like to plan longer than a week. <laughs> So this is the gold, anyhow. So let's just do this with the gold. Now I haven't covered all my cake properly, as you can see. So this cake is going to go down to the uh, old folks home it's down the road. It's got some power in that, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. It does a nice even spray that as well, doesn't it? I like it when you're in the car, I'm just plugging in the airbrush. <laughs> I'm plugging in my phone, I'm plugging in the airbrush, charge it up. Just let's decorate some cakes while we're driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smells nice this stuff as well actually. Anyhow, so next week when I do my class, I've that. run out. Right, great. I'll go and do that again. You've got nails, haven't you? you? I know, I've got nails there. Oh, it's done. Um, so next week when we do the cupcake bouquet class, it's National Nurses Day on the Tuesday, isn't it? 
So it's National Nurses Day on the Tuesday. So somebody has asked me, will I donate the um, cake, the cupcake bouquet that I'm going to make next week on the class to the uh, nurses on Bridge Hall in Cheadle Hume? And I've said yes, so they're getting it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. But the, that's on the 12th, and, but I can't give it them until after the class on the 13th. So uh, they'll have to wait a day. But I did give them all to the nurses at the hospital, all the other ones. But they want me to donate it to these particular nurses. Well, Carol, they're saying on there you put, you've probably got another job you could do now. Do what? Painter and decorator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do that anyhow. Friggin' John doesn't do any of it. Right, so what have I got to do? Press, Press this in. in. Yeah. Oh, it went in easier then. Right, okay then. Right, okay. Oh, do you know what? Second time going, they are. I'm getting the hang of it now. And do you know what? I actually don't feel as scared as this one. You know, like the other one, all the other ones, I feel scared of them. I don't feel scared of this. And it's gone over the icing sugar perfectly well. I should imagine you'd be able to use any kind of paper yeah. metallic, anything yeah, like yeah. Carol. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I still love the fractal colours. Sorry, PME. But I still love the fractal colours. They're brilliant. So if you've got a proper airbrush, of course, use your proper airbrush. But you know, if you want this one, this is a, this is a gadget, isn't it? You see, I've got a proper airbrush, but I want that one. As well. I think that's better than having a tube that's the yeah. trailing well, I must around. Yeah, you can move around with it yeah. now, can't you? Woo, yeah. like this, <laughs> all artistic. <laughs> Put too much on now it's running look look at that it's running oh. now we're getting clever haven't so you got, you got giddy. i've got giddy and it's now running how do you turn it off there i'll push, press the button in there you go right okay then so let's just try so i've got a bit of run on that girls because i've got a bit giddy right let me get me buttercream hold on uh buttercream in the bag piping bag Oh dear, how's our audience doing? Are they still with us or have they gone now? No, we're, we're gone. We're still just under 400, we're doing right, really brilliant. well. So just let me get this nozzle out a moment. Yes, Geraldine, we've got a pink and gold kitchen now. Yeah, we have. We have, we have, we have, we have. Just one second, yeah. No, you don't have to, you, you, you can use any of the airbrush colours. You don't have to just use PME colours with no. this one. Well, I've got a lovely sparkly phone. <laughs> have you? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can use any of the airbrush colours. Just let me put this in a minute. One second. Do you have any glitter on you this morning when you were going home? Didn't notice it, no. Yeah, did he have glitter on? What did he have on? Because I didn't, I, I didn't be finishing Sparkle and it was going everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So just let me put this in here a minute. Gonna hide me, me uh, not so straight corners, not so straight edges. What time is it, Karen? Now we're doing for time. It's two minutes to half past nine. Oh, right, okay, well, we're nearly done. Right, there we go. Which camera are you on there, Simon? Uh, you're on the front at the moment, yeah, I'll put yeah, you on the side fine. one if you like. No, it's okay, it's fine. The top one, I think, would probably be best, actually. Yeah. So those on the cupcake bouquet class, I've got new techniques for those who did the last class. So we will be doing, we'll be doing it slightly different. Well, we'll be doing the same class, but I've got some more ideas, which I'm going to come and do a live in the group and tell you what. There, yeah, that looks nice, doesn't that looks it? Lovely. Right. Okay. So that looks pretty. Right. Okay. And then, oh, I'll tell you what, fill it up. Should have put this on a pasted board, shouldn't I? And a sugar pasted board. So I'm just going to have to have it like this. Well, you've got the board anyway. Yeah. You've it. Eh? You've got the board. Yeah, I think I might paint the board. <laughs> <laughs> so just one second. I 
going to love this at the uh, care home tomorrow. Yeah. We'll just take it to the care home down the road, shall yeah. we? A lady from the care home messaged me and said she couldn't get a cake and would I make one for her? I'm sorry, I don't bake cakes for a living. I only make them to give away. That's really awful. Well, you make them to give away the self-pressure, isn't it? Nice, actually. I'm quite impressed with that. That gold is a beautiful colour. Yeah. We're going to do the other colours on it in a minute. Yeah. We'll just do little splashes of other colours. And then we'll get out some sparkle. It's a shame that it's run there. I got a bit giddy and forgot myself. I forgot that it runs. There we go. That'll do, won't it? That's, lovely. That's all right, isn't it? Right, let's get that out of the way. Oh, God. I can have a laugh now because it did fall like on my face. Oh. You lot are in such a boring night. You're all going to be there secret messaging each other. It bloody worked. <laughs> yeah, they, they all dropped off. All the numbers dropped yeah. off once they'd seen you done it. Oh, no. Worse, it? <laughs> Let me just use this last bit of gold up one second. I'm glad you told me how to do that, Simon, because I would have been here going, oh, Simon, it don't work. Trying to hold two buttons in at the same yeah. time. Yeah. So I'm just gonna just spray that. So I have got some drips on this, but I'm not bothered about that really. Right, so we've got that out now. I'm just gonna use a bit of bronze colour and then a bit of the pearl. Happy birthday for Wednesday, Helen. Have a nice day. Who's that? Helen Miles. Oh, right. Oh, Helen. Very good. Well, that was good timing, what I did, wasn't it, Helen? Can't tell you lot secret between me and Helen. Just going to put a bit of the bronze in. Right. Just going to do a quick splash of the bronze and then a quick splash no, of the... No, not giddy. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> right, I just want to see the colour really if I'm honest. So I, I, I like this feeling in my hand, it's great and it? it's just the right size. Yeah. Is that six inches or eight inches? What do you say Simon? About five. Oh, are you an honest one? Right, okay. <laughs> so there you go. I can't turn it on. <laughs> nice that. <laughs> Karen, what's wrong with you? You've got a filthy mind, Karen. <laughs> So let's just put a bit of bronze on down there. Simon's gone very quiet now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> let's cover up this bronze. Oh, that's a nice bronze colour, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Like that. It doesn't smell as nice, that one. I do not think so, no. Look down here, I can't smell it. It smells different anyway. Yeah. yeah, different. Let's put a bit of bronze on, just one second. A bit more bronze in. No, the spray's not going everywhere. No? I, it's not going everywhere at all. No. Well, Reed, no. stop being terrible. What's she saying? Like my phone's she gone. She got off. mine like you, Karen. Yeah, it's a woman's six inch, but a man's eight inch. <laughs> well, Simon is very. I funny. think it was five inches. <laughs> yeah, Simon's What does that say? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That bronze is gorgeous, isn't well, it? Look lovely. at that. That is lovely. I don't know what I'm doing here, by the way, you lot. I'm just playing with the colours at the moment. You're just playing with your new toy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Never played with an airbrush as much. Only ever, I think I've only ever done a brush out twice, haven't I? I like um, that. We are selling the spray gun on our site, but we've just sold out of stock tonight. Yeah. If you... Listen, if you want this, you need to message me that you want it. Go via the website. So just hang on a second. Oh, I think we'll do a bit of an umbra. Look at that. Just go via the website, send a message. Don't private message me, anybody. Just do it. 
right, find the contact info on the website. Uh -huh. That's off. I'm just doing a bit of a number effect. I'm getting artistic now. I better write my name soon. Don't put that out to him. Eh? Don't put that on to <laughs> Right, okay. Right. So let's use the pearl now. I'll turn it off. So let's just give it a bit of a dash of pearl. Just let me get a bit of water in here, clean this out a minute. Oh dear. Let me clear out because the other colour was gold and then I put bronze in over the top. So we'll just clear out the pearl. The bronze. So all I've done, if anybody's looking, I've just poured water in there. Pour some water I've in just there. Just poured water in there and then poured it in the drink. And then put some water in now and use your turn spray it on. and turn it on to get it through the nozzle. Yeah. So just let me turn it on, get it out. Just one second. Right there, that's it. Right. right, all I've done is just tip spray it into the uh, into the uh, little pot of water I've got here. Right, so we've got um, pearl here. Let's put a bit of pearl on. I'm enjoying myself. I'm so pleased that that little rolling nightmare is over. I can't tell you how many hot sweats I've had. <laughs> Lynn, you can message from the website by going to the contact us and then that'll uh, take you to a little page where you can just write a message. Yeah, go to contact us, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, contact us, all you got to do is you see it on the website, contact us and go, Carol, I want one of those airbrushes. If I get enough people saying they want one, well, I'm going to be on to him tomorrow and say, hey, come on, do a bit of a deal. Let's get you all some paints. Laura's going to go mad with me in the morning. Laura doesn't know now about what goes on in the morning. She comes in and people ask her all these questions. I forget to tell her. <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. So let me just get that pearl going. Right. Don't know whether the pearl will actually go over there. Don't know. No, it's not. It's kind of giving it a it's bit. It's giving it a sheen. Yeah. giving it a sheen, is yeah, it? Yeah, it is. I can see it's, it's giving it a real good sheen, that. Alright. They say you want to put some balls on top. Yeah, well, seems as we've been talking about six inches and so on, and now they go on, let's find some balls. <laughs> uh, where's, the, where's the sprinkles? I think the salted caramel ones will go nice on there. Oh, yes, the salted caramel ones. Let's have a couple of them. Yeah, these are good things. So I'm going to stick a few of them in the middle there. Oh, look at them. Yeah, they're lovely. Give it that nice extra country top. All these, Karen, we can pick up and have whatever drops. Unfortunately, they're not gluten free, so I, I, You're I'm missing You've out on no them look. again. You don't didn't. know, look, have you? <laughs> we didn't include you. Yeah, I'm, you never included. <laughs> Right, there you are. That looks superb. That's not bad for winging it, is it? Absolutely not. Well, I've got to be honest, I didn't know I was going to be decorating the cake tonight. And smooth as a baby's bum, that. Yeah. Let's do them all in the middle there. Let's get them all in there. They These absolutely are love it. They These salty the caramel ones there. are lovely, and there's lemon and white chocolate as well. Mm. All right. So this gives you that extra thingy. Right, okay, let's do that, just one second. Then we need the bling bling, don't we? The yes. uh, sparkling stuff. Right, we'll go for... Is it not spark have you not just sparkled it? Yeah, well we have, but we need more sparkle. Need, Listen, you just don't get it, Simon. You need sparkly balls. Eh? Well, you'll have to tell us about them. I've never seen any. So, <laughs> right, so this is the goal. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, my lordy, look at that, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, can you see that on the camera? Can you see it on the camera? Yeah, just about, I think. Oh, look at that. Oh, hoo, hoo. 
So you know where we use the finishing sparkle? This is the gold finishing sparkle, just to finish it off. Oh, I think they're gonna be dead happy at the home. Yes, Debbie, she's they're... in a better mood now. I mean, she was a bit worried at the beginning of the year. They say you're in a... Who you're, was a bit worried? No, you're, you're in a right, you're in a right giddy mood now because you're in oh, a different mood. Oh, yeah, for the it. start of life. <laughs> Even got cocky and put my finger in it. <laughs> <laughs> right, ladies, that's it. We're done. Well done. Well done. Wow. Well done. What do you think? I've lived another day. I can show me face on Facebook Lives. Cracking cake looks <laughs> fantastic. It's brilliant. Go on, keep them going. I need to get yeah, my Give us a 12, door. Carol. What? Give us a 12. Of the cake, not you. I, I would never think they'd want me to 12. No, the choco balls don't fit in the DK applicator. No, no, no. I tell you what, those um, those little pearls, they look lovely now. They're all blinged up as they're well. Gorgeous. Yeah. So that's it, that's the pearls now. So we've got those in five different flavors. They're crisp pearls, they're nice and crisp, they're not hard. They're lovely, so you can add them to your ice cream, you can add them to your yogurt. You can, they're very much like those uh, things that you get in those Muller Light things, those little and pearls. And also, you can make your duff nuts, yeah. and then you can glaze the top and dunk them in a yeah, duff nut. Yeah, glaze, glaze your cake, sprinkle them on, so Absolutely. it's great, isn't it? The airbrush is fabulous. If you want one of those, let me know because I'll place an order first thing in the morning and I'll be I'll be asking them to get them out on the next day delivery to me. So we'll have them in Wednesday. So if you want one of them, and then what I'll ask him to do if he'll be I'm not I can't promise this though. But I'm hoping he's watching because he knows that we're doing this tonight. So I hope Mr. PME man gives all our lovely customers three of these each. That's what we want. We've got a gold one, a pearl one, and a bronze, don't we? <laughs> probably get a phone call tomorrow and go Ugh. <laughs> so that's what we want so fantastic so everybody thank you for joining me tonight Can that was the little roll the draw from last Monday oh god right oh. the little roll it so that's the little roll that we've been doing the airbrush the paints the um pearls the glitter and now we're going to do the draw what was it for what do we have the draw for where's your book what did I make it wasn't the giant ginger biscuits. Biscuit. No, that was Friday. Does anybody, oh, do you know, I'll just go and find the live one second. Oh. Simon's meant to have a book here. I am, I am. Is this on the, is this on the group, Karen? You're in the group watching this, aren't you? Yeah. But I think you gave it away. Let last, me find uh, out yeah, what it is. you gave it away on Friday. Is this my phone? Yeah. Right, wait a minute. Because we did a lot of draws on Friday, didn't yes, we? Yes, we gave it away. We did, we did, we did to be fair, we did all the draws on Friday and brought them up. But let me find out because I'll know. What we did is we missed all the draws. So, no, it was, last, was it last Friday morning or last Thursday night? We gave away the 24 times Thursday two night it wasn't. Cups. Pardon? So, Thursday night it was Valerie and Christina who were amazing, by the way. And then Friday morning we gave, we did the draw for nearly everything. Yes, we did. We did. So last Monday was the dope things, wasn't it? I know that was the week before. Mm -hmm. Let me just find out what date was it last Monday? Can somebody tell me the date last Monday? What day we Did we do the did we it was the twenty seventh, wasn't it? Yeah. Because we didn't do a live on Wednesday. Oh I tell you why we did it all on <gasps> Friday, because we did the cupcake bouquet class. We didn't so do we a just live did everything. Either. We didn't do any lives, that's why. We didn't do a live Monday. No, who who we did it on Monday night? It, we did Daniel, do Daniel Crouch. Yeah, Crouch. Danielle did it last Monday. Yeah, yes. there wasn't a live. We've done them all. They were all drawn so last week. Yes. So we are up to date. Anyhow, so tonight's live, it, for tonight's live, to, to like and share, it's a £25 voucher. Uh, Danielle Crouch is on tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night. There's on Wednesday, is there a live on Wednesday? There's no, no live on Wednesday. On Thursday, it's Tracy Mann in the morning at half past 11. Thursday night, it's me. Don't know what I'm going to do. And then Friday, oh, there's nobody here Friday because it's VE Celebrations Day, so we've all got the day off. Oh, it seems a bit weird for all you guys who have already got the day off, the merging into <laughs> one. But for us who are still working, we've got the day off. Got a day off. Um, so, and I'm planning on clearing my office out. I did a really good job this weekend, did loads of it. So uh, I've got a lot more to do this weekend. Um, and then, so tonight it's like a shirt, it's a £25 voucher. But you'll I still think... be on Friday because I think you're making a flamingo cake in the Facebook flashbacks. Oh, right, yes. Yeah, so we do, uh, Simon set up all the Facebook flashbacks for this week, two o'clock every day. Do watch them. And as he just said, I made um, a flamingo cake on, uh, I'm making one of those on Friday. It's one I did three years ago, but I didn't know that. I think I got his legs back to front. Not sure. <laughs> 
think my flamingo goes that way. No, that's how they're supposed to go. <laughs> Maybe it goes that way then. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. So I think on Thursday, we're, um, I won't give you two packets of these. I think what I'll do is on Thursday, we'll do this as the live and we'll pick two winners for a packet of these each on Thursday. Remind me if that's what it's about. So it's £25 for tonight. On Thursday, we'll do two packets of these, yeah? Well, right, we'll and we'll if you there. still owe one, one each, not, not two for one person. No, one each, so that can pick two winners and then yeah. you can yeah. share. Um, if you have ordered your little roller, you need to just get on the website, go into what's new, follow your link. Please do pick your correct link. Lots of people are going for the £13.50 option and thinking that we're going to be daft enough to send it out when they never paid the balance. Other people are paying the £13.50, uh, which is which is the wrong one, because that was for those people who already paid postage. We're basically, we've refunded you the postage back, hence why it's the cheaper rate. And then there's those people who are paying, if you paid £5, you need to be clicking £17.99. That's what you need to be clicking. Those of you who now want to buy one, it's £22.99. And those of you who paid postage, which shouldn't have paid postage, you need to be um, paying £13.50. Yeah, pretty good. Right, that's us all done. Well done. Over done. Well Thanks done. very much. Thank you for enjoying me. Joining me. Thanks, Karen. You Thanks, welcome. Simon. And thank you, you, because for some reason it all worked, and I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Karen's going to go get Karen to make me a brew. I might even treat myself to milky coffee. <laughs> see you. When are we seeing them? Yay. See you on Thursday evening. Thursday, Thursday evening. evening. Yes. I'll see you then. Cheerio. Okay. Bye. Bye.